Howdy YouTube, this is just another little video, just thought I'd uh, post a video of what I've done to my Triumph Trident um, since I bought it, so it's just a modifications review. Um, I think I'm pretty much done with this bike, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so I bought this bike about a year and a half ago, it's been a great bike, I bought it specifically for commuting and it's great for that. I'm not going to go through the specs and all that, you can read up that um, by other YouTube videos, but it's a great all-round handling bike. Um, does what it says on the tin, it's absolutely great, enough usable power, loads of torque um, and it looks cool. So when I first saw this bike I really liked it because um, it's kind of a modern bike but it's got that round headlight which gives it that nod to the sort of bike of old um, and I wanted my Trident to emulate that so I'll just go through some of the modifications now what I've done so obviously as you can see here this is the stock seat but I've just had that reupholstered in a vinyl kind of waterproof leather with the tuck and roll kind of stitch to give it that awesome kind of retro authentic look I've also put a very subtle um, grab rail just on the back that just kind of just sets that off that's a Hepcone Becker um, this bike is loaded with Evotech so this is the Evotech tail tidy um, looks really nice on the bike with that grab rail so I'm really really pleased with that um, obviously I've gone for the um, frame sliders from Evotech again really really good if you're considering getting any Evotech stuff for the Trident, do it guys, because although it's expensive, it's well worth the money, it is quality stuff. Obviously, this bike, when it came, was black and red. Um, those radiator cowls there, I've just sprayed them black. The same thing with the red flash on the mudguard, I've just sprayed that black as well. Um, what I've done with the headlight, because I wanted that aesthetic look, I've gone for a classic dark fly screen to give it that nice classic aesthetic. And I've also put some yellow vinyl film on the headlight um, just to give it that old school kind of look, which is what I'm going for. Um, and I saw this, I think it's SW Motec, just headlight guard. And I just think that finishes off the bike nicely. Um, Again, Evotech adjustable levers on both sides, really, really good. And these are tech, sorry about the uh, motorbike going past. Harley Davidson Sportster, very nice, so you still own one of those. Um, but these are the tech uh, mirrors, um, Barre mirrors, which are also very, really nice. Sorry about the noise. So. I've obviously got a quad lock on there and I've raised the bar up about two inches um, using a, I think that's a Voigt bar riser there. Um, just makes the bike a lot more comfortable when you're sitting upright. Uh, I'm not a speed demon or anything like that. Really apologise about the noise. He's fucked off now, so that's good. Okay, so yeah, these are these are Voigt levers. Um, they just raise the bar up um, just a couple of inches, um, so you're not sort of leaning in a tuck position, which is my kind of riding. I came off Harley's, so um, that's what I like to, to do. Um, now the may the biggest thing that I'm really pleased with, I've just changed my tyres, and again, I wanted that aesthetic retro look, so I've gone for Scorpion Pirelli STRs. A road focus kind of knobbly off-road tire um, and it just makes the bike look fucking awesome I love it um, these are great tires I've only put them on last week I've done about 100 miles so they're well scrubbed in and I can tell you they are great handling tires in any condition they are really really good um, I live in a place where there's lots of potholes and bad roads and these just soak up the old bumps so uh, they're very very good so yeah so that's it guys um, that's my bike um, I think it looks fucking awesome the way it is now the only thing I might do is an exhaust however I'm going for a specific look with this bike I want like a retro classic slash street fighter and all the exhausts I've seen are very sport bike type exhaust, which isn't my cup of tea. 
Um, there is an exhaust from American company, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's CNC, which is kind of an all black stubby thing like that's on there now. Um, I'm quite happy with the exhaust to be honest. Um, it, I do want it a little bit louder. Um, that would be the only reason I'll change it, um, get it nice and black. Um, but I'm not decided because I quite like the way the bike looks at the moment. Um, I don't like, I mean, I do like the Zard exhaust, but it's just not my cup of tea, it's just not my style. Um, so I wouldn't go for that, or the GP one, it's just not my style. Um, I just want something small and stubby um, that looks a little bit like the stock exhaust, but obviously with a bit louder. So if any of you know an exhaust like that for the Trident, um, hit me up. Um, but yeah, that's it guys, that is my retro classic Trident, um, very distinctive. I've had loads of comments when I stop at cafes and bars and stuff. Um, yeah, so till the next one guys, thank you very much.